Hi, my name is Elizabeth Hake, and I've been a jeweler for 29 years, and then 2019 I started making these wall pieces, steel wall pieces. My mom always tried to encourage me, and she's like, what if, if you take a class at this place, um, I'll pay for it, like a week-long class. And I looked through the catalog, and I was just like, this sounds interesting. It was jewelry as sculpture. And I, I took that class, and I was hooked like the first day. I was like, okay, I want to make jewelry, metal. I'd never really worked with metal before, and I just took to it like a duck to water. <laughs> You know what's funny is that I did not think of this when I started these pieces, um, especially the ones that are kind of altered perspective. They're like perspective drawings, but they're not quite right. They're just kind of out of my head. Um, and when I started that, it was just kind of grew out of my jewelry, which is a, a lot of it is inspired by a little sketch of drawing. So it's like the line, I create that line in, from the drawing in the metal. And so that led to the perspective ones. But then I realized, yeah, when I was a little kid, um, like third, fourth grade, I did all these things with like paper to like make things look like they were coming off the wall. And I had totally forgotten about that. Like I had pictures, I was into animals. I had pictures of animals everywhere. I'd cut things out of books. And I'd like bend the paper so it looked like the rhinoceros was coming off the wall. And I was like, I had totally forgotten. And then I was like, well, it's coming full circle. My interest in that perspective. Decisions, decision making. I have some people, some people have um, are naturally good at having ideas and other people I think sometimes are naturally good at sticking with one thing and starting something and making it and making all those decisions and I have a million ideas and I have a hard time stopping the other ideas coming through and just saying okay finish this oh well what about this and what about that and that's hard. So the bigger pieces are harder for me to just get it done and I feel like it's best when I just uh, don't start anything else and I just, just focus in on it. Hyper. In art, they'll tell you, you know, it's about the process, you know, it's about creating. And if you just create work and don't show it to anybody and hide it in your room because you're nervous, it's really missing that whole other side of creating, which is putting it out there and sharing and see how people interact with it and their reactions. So for me, I usually think it's because that's what I'm good at is making things. But um, I really actually like to see what other people see or how they react to it and their, if they get an emotional reaction to it. That's part of the reason I got into jewelry is because people are emotionally attached to jewelry. I like something that means something to someone else. And, uh, and I get a kick out of people saying, oh my gosh, I, when I wear this, I feel powerful. Or when I look at this, it makes me calm or, you know, something like that. I love that. That's creating a, a connection with the person, not just the piece. You, you put it in the piece and then you see the other people reacting to it. What I hadn't realized when I started doing the wall pieces was how much <laughs> something this size, you know, would inform something this size, but um, coming from making jewelry um, for 29 years this year, I understand metal, so I wasn't, I wasn't really, I was kind of nervous, what am I gonna do? But first day I got in the metal studio, metal shop, like for big stuff, I, I was just went, I just, I was like, I had no idea what I was gonna do and I just started making stuff and it all just fell into place. I'm like, I, I know how to move metal. It's just bigger metal. You know, you can't bend it with your hands maybe. You have to use big huge saws instead of a little jewelry saw. Um, but the other thing that's really been awesome is how my jewelry ideas inform the wall pieces and how the wall pieces inform my jewelry. And uh, that's been really something I didn't uh, expect or predict and uh, it's been really awesome. 
I was telling someone the other day, they were going around, we get people who are like, ooh, what about me? I might try for the show. And I was like, well, if you want to stretch yourself as a person and an artist, this show, and, and people say it all the time, it's changed my life, but it, it truly has changed my life. I didn't, I just learned so much about myself. Um, and something that I've been wanting to do for probably 15 years was to make something larger than jewelry. And this show actually pushed me to do it, to believe in myself that I could do it. And that's what's great about the, the whole concept is you work here and you're working around other people and you know they, they comment and they encourage you and you do that for them. And it's, it's almost like an incubator, I feel like, um, uh, an idea incubator. And also, I went to graduate school, and I feel like this is this show is a lot like graduate school. You're just like, oh, what can I do? Bigger, better, different, push myself. And then you have this space that's open to that. A lot of shows, you apply with pictures, that's it. That's all you can show. You actually can get in trouble if you show more stuff that's not like the pictures. Sometimes they'll kick you out, you know. Um, so this show is not like that. This show is like, grow as an artist and a person and push yourself. And it's really, really been amazing.